what's going on guys productive uh, hang on, just let me turn the music down there we go productive day so far i've actually spent the entire day nurturing leads so basically what i've been doing is i've been following up with everyone i know of everyone i've ever spoken to in terms of social media marketing just so you know how they're doing have they got anyone doing this social media currently if they are you know how's that going for them are they happy with the people that are doing the social media for them now following up providing value answering questions stuff like that and you know you never know you never know what may come of it some people may say like listen um you know you've just come at the right time or you've just uh, sent us a message at the right time stuff like that so that's what i've been doing you know just constantly staying top of mind in terms of social media marketing and in terms of our service um right now i'm actually on the way to the airport or like the station of the airport to pick up uh, another social media marketer who's actually from the uk his name's bradley riley he's going to be staying with us for a few days and basically this entire weekend is going to be dedicated to personal branding social media marketing you know collaboration just basically sharing knowledge and uh, I, you know i've said so many times before you know you need to spend time with like-minded people people that can raise you up you know you need to surround yourself with winners and that is like the main reason why he's coming this weekend is so we can sort of just like use each other's knowledge to get further anyway um traffic lights on green now so um i'm just gonna take you guys along with me on the day vlog like literally old school there's no point to this video other than vlogging entertainment show you guys along you know what i'm gonna do today and i'm rambling on so i might as well just end the clip here yeah, you beat that. Yeah, look who it is. Alright. Brad Riley. How are you doing? All the way from the UK. All the way, traveled, got here safely, and I'm in the famous horn. Horn, that's it. Yeah. Pleased to be. We're gonna get some LinkedIn outreach done and just network, get some personal brand and stuff, collaborate. So I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Outreach done, work done, now it's time for sushi. Let's go boy. What's going on guys, a few days later uh, at the office right now. I'm gonna film some videos here. But first, a cup of coffee, cause it's early in the morning. Uh, let's see, we're going for it. <laughs> so, that's on, mic's on, video's recording. Alright guys, so obviously you know that uh, Brad Riley has come over from the UK to the Netherlands to spend a few days with me and um, apart from just like having like a mastermind going like for this weekend and apart from like collaborating, sharing knowledge and stuff like that, we've actually got a bit of an announcement to make. Um, some of you might already know or have sort of like already caught on to the fact that uh, Bradley and I have actually been working together since, what was it, May? It was May or April, I think late April maybe, early May. Yeah, late like April that. we sort of talked about it and I think in May we actually started. So Brand Panier is not only mine but actually also 50% Bradley's, so we've actually been uh, working together all this time and I think that is one of the main reasons why we've actually been able to, to scale it to mm -hmm. you know a, a six-figure business uh, in 100,000 at the least a year. Um, like I said, you know, it's, it's had so many benefits, like people automatically think, oh, so you split the profits, but it's had so many more benefits. I think like, one of the reasons why Brand Panier is as successful as it is, is because we've actually been doing it together. For sure, yeah. I mean, it is, like you said, yeah, it's 50% of the profits, but then you also get twice the workload, That's you get it. twice the brain power, which then compounds because of it. Yeah. You know, it's, you make less bad decisions because it almost goes through two people. Mm -hmm. um, another benefit as well is, yes, you can automate your business as much as possible, but then when I go away on holiday, or you know, if I go away for like next week, I'm off to China for 10 days. Yeah. As much as I can automate some things, some things cannot happen. I will not take a sales call when I'm in China. Yeah, that's but it. you I can. can. Yeah. Um, when we're on trips like this together, we can continue to work. But when you go away and when I go away, we can still get things done. Yeah. Um, it's just had a absolute plethora of benefits, in my opinion. And I think we kind of just wanted to talk to you guys today about, you know, if you do find the right person, that you know, it is always an option for you to, yeah, to do definitely. that yourself. Plus, I think like um, because because you work together. And you, like basically, when you land a client or when you get like mad results or you get the retainers or anything like that, it's double the fun because you've actually got someone to share it with. Yeah, for sure. Whereas you know, if you're on your own, 
it's you know okay you've got the money but <clears throat> like more often than not people around you don't really understand or they don't really know how it feels mm-hmm. and if you've got someone next to you that knows exactly how you feel right now it's just a, it's just a great feeling and it is, yeah. vice versa like if something goes wrong or if you lose a client there's someone there to sort of like you know help you sort of like get back up and help you you know like just say to you okay like, listen like let's go full force like this mm-hmm. month or let's you know do outreach or let's do this so you've got like the accountability partner you've got someone to share the wins with and like you said, you know, you've got all the benefits, whereas um, they just share each other's knowledge mm-hmm. and brain power. And also, I think, like, it sounds so, so, like, it, you know, you know, like, like you've got like certain skills, yeah. And so have I am like just together, it's like the perfect match. Basically. But I think the, the the thing is, is they're so different, but they complement each other so well. Yeah, that's and it. I think that's one tip. If anybody is, if you've got anybody in mind, or if you've ever considered working with someone, whether it's in you know your social media agency or any other business I think you need to make sure you're not two of the same person because yeah. if you do that then that's when things will clash opinions will clash and it might not work mm-hmm. obviously we took a massive gamble with this you know I mean worst case scenario it didn't work you know we would have parted ways but you know we did take a gamble but I think a lot of business and that is built off of you know you make your own luck you, you take those yeah, gambles it, you know, sometimes they work sometimes they don't yeah um, but it never really started to official did it it just kind of said look let's just Let's just try this. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, let's not put anything down on paper. Let's not set up a company. Let's just. That's it. Yeah. And then let's just like, see what happens. Yeah, it was like literally like, um, okay, let's like try and get like the, the the so basically the clients that we previously had are still our own clients. Yeah. And then we just said, okay, any new clients that come in now, we'll take together, we'll close together, and we'll split the profits. Yeah. And that that's how it's just been going. And then ever since, like we just continue to do uh-huh. that and like continue to scale the business. And then now it's like sort of like become official as like where uh-huh. we've you know we're actually like taking on people uh, to work for us whether that's part time full time freelance you know we're we're looking into like the variables and just seeing like what's what's the best uh, option for us. But I think it's very good as well because we we both had different. I mean we spoke about it just then. We both had very different traits. So for example, for me I had a lot of the structure. So yeah. before we started working together my all my systems and all sort of like my operations were kind of solidly in place you know i had my team i had my yeah. you know expert ads people I had my expert graphic design uh, designers copywriters i had all of that stuff pretty much down yeah um and you know the client acquisitions methods i pretty much had down but my actual creative side and and things like that and like my i was very much just in a rut of just kind of getting clients but my, my results were good but they weren't as good as they could have been yeah. whereas you're very like client focused very results focused you're very creative not just design wise but also like in like terms of thinking and strategy moving forward whereas that's maybe stuff that I lack yeah and I lacked the, I lacked like the structure to actually put it all in place because I was doing everything myself at the time I think I got like I think I had two virtual assistants at the time but other than that like I was literally like the last line of defense I done everything myself and I was actually looking for a way to sort of like automate and like not necessarily outsource but just build a team around yeah. the business that's what we well to be fair when we first both started working together i think we also were very we're playing it so small like we had some clients and that and stuff but they weren't really the biggest clients and we were getting good results for them but it was very much we looked at it as like how can we outsource this whereas now it's like how can we get the best best results results for the clients i don't care if we've got to pay more we 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 now pay so much more for our outsourcers we've hired people that cost a lot more yeah but our results so much better is so much better now we've got an agency i i I think before we both had we were both freelancers basically yeah we were glorified freelancers you know like i can now officially say like i am i own an agency yeah whereas at the time it's sort of like you're a freelancer, but you try and create the perception that it's an agency because you've got virtual assistants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whereas now we have a team and that's it, yeah. They're all, you know, they're they're not, for example, you know, third world three dollars an hour people. These are all people that charge yeah, expert they're, yeah, rates. They're from the UK, yeah. And they're all virtual, so they are still, you know Yeah, we work remote, which I think has a lot of benefits because uh-huh. we you know, we basically like if we get a client in the US, like we've got people in the US like in that time zone that are high quality and that can also like if worse comes to worse, can sort of like take on the responsibility of that client. Whereas, uh, you know, we've also got a lot of people in our time zone yeah. you know, that, that can do the ads, that can get the results and stuff like that, and are like on the same time zone as we are. So if we want something done right away, you know, we can just just go to them. That's like uh-huh. one of the benefits of having people that are sort of like first world. The thing is, as well, I mean, the what I like about doing it this way, and I think this is even better than hiring in house for for a couple of reasons. 
because obviously you get all the expense of having like a, a fancy office like this, or you have all the expense of like you know salary, which is generally yeah, more. So even though we pay a lot more for our, our, uh, our like our team now, there's it's still cheaper than we'd pay if we hired someone in house. Yeah. But they're also experts at their game, so That's it's fair. not like we're putting up a job posting on jobsite.com or whatever, and then just trying to find someone who we need to train up on Facebook ads, which could no, take. Like, you know, already experts. Yeah. We we hire. Like our Facebook ad as expert is a genius. Yeah, like, like he is. is he knows Facebook more than ad. us. Like we, when we get clients, we actually consult with him. Yeah, so yeah. Like, What would you do in this situation? And he does it. And like, like for example, like the, our latest client, where he said like um, he's looked at the ads because the client was already running ads like previous to, uh, like our collaboration. I said, oh yeah, I just like without even without us even asking him to do it, he just ran through the old ads, optimized them to make sure that every single ad that was up and running was uh, having at least, what was it, two and a half? Yeah, so the client needed, it was, it was a um, e-commerce store that needed a, well, the, you know, they needed at least a 2.5x return on ad spend to break even on their products or profit. Yeah. Because obviously they've got the costs of actually getting inventory before, you know. So they needed to make, to actually break even, you know, they needed to make 2.5x return on ad spend. So he went in um, and optimized all of that stuff. So we've got now a team of four, four thinkers, yeah, people that, are entrepreneurs in their own right, but they don't want to be number one. Yeah, they're quite happy to sort of, you know, work underneath us, work as part of our agency. Yeah, but it, they're, you know, they get the benefits of working on their own terms. There's no payroll. But now we are a physical. We're a physical agency, but it is it is still virtual. It has yeah. all the benefits of being virtual. And I think before another thing as well is like I know a lot of people know me for just like the social media management stuff, and that's great. And that is still and I still stand by the fact that's like the easiest. Yeah, way, business easy. business model in the world. Honestly, yeah. it doesn't get any easier than that. But you know, we've we've turned it from a social media management company into like a, a solid ads lead gen. That's a, yeah, marketing How can we make money? Because then yeah. you know that's where some of our bigger clients are coming from now. Yeah. Um, you know, before I mean, we had someone a, a company the other day um, that we were in talks with who make what was it like? They spent was it one one to two million a month or something like something crazy out there. They're, they're their revenue is like which one was it the the e-commerce no um i can't remember which company it was now they filled out our discovery form anyway and they put that oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i know which one you're oh say. it was, yeah. wasn't it no that was it they want they, they spend 100 to 200k a month or something in that aspect or something crazy like that yeah. anyway where so you know you think about how much you can charge a company like that and how much value That's you can it, yeah. be to a company like just that think, like, if they're spending 100k a month just like i might like they won't even feel an extra 5k or anything like that like uh-huh. you could literally get like a 5 to, 5 to 10k retainer and they wouldn't even really notice no, it'd be like pennies because, for them yeah because like you could even take it off the ad budget and just get them better results with the budget that you know that you're uh-huh. working with and they would they wouldn't feel a difference and your 10k you know your your up 10k plus a lot of businesses like that as well have already tried <laughs> running ads themselves so they've already got some pixel data yeah and you can go in and get results a lot easier for them. Yeah, definitely. I think another thing as well that helps us is sort of the accountability. I mean, we touched on it a bit, but I think the fact that yeah, I'm accountable to you and I don't want to let you down and That's it works it, yeah. vice versa. Yeah. So like, it's, it's, it was always easy to slack when you're on your own. Like no yeah. one likes to admit it, everyone likes to show this perception on Instagram stories that they're hustling at night. The truth of the matter is, on a Sunday, like yeah. I sit there in my pajamas and play Call of Duty, right? Like yeah. Sundays, to be fair, Sunday is my day off. Yeah. But sometimes on a Tuesday night that might happen as well. Whereas yeah. now if we've got, you know, if I'm doing it's it on my own, to, yeah. but if there's stuff to do, it's, you know, and I know it needs to be done. It's not, yeah. your, it's not your job, it's both of our jobs. Yeah, that's so it. I'm accountable to you for that and you're accountable yeah. to me. So we get more done, we're more efficient. Um, and uh, you've got to be good, you know, you've got to have that expectation from the get go as well. Like we both said to each other at the beginning, like, look, you know, if, if there's anything I'm doing that pissing you off or vice versa, like yeah, just, just, just be brutally honest. Let's just yeah. tell each other, not, yeah. in a, not in a nasty way, just in our no, like, just, look, yeah, let's just sort this out. Yeah. For the best thing of the agency, um, yeah. you know, let's just, just chat about it and let's just, yeah. you know, overcome it together. And then once you set those expectations, it's like a client, isn't it? It's exactly like when you set expectations yeah. with a client, have you set those expectations to say like, you know, because if you're expecting, for example, you know, if you're putting 18 hour days and I'm putting in two hour days, well, where's the... Yeah, balance. that's it, yeah. But then if if, I'm, if you're putting in 18 hour days, but you're just doing all emails, whereas, you know, so it's not really actually achieving anything. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You, know, we, yeah, you yeah. set those it's expectations, like, it's you? like value-based and yet, yeah, like the, the amount of time you're putting. But I think like it's just had so many benefits. And like, like, I think we actually said it, didn't we? Like we, we said like, 
if people actually started realizing how much you can achieve by working together rather, rather than trying to build up an agency on your own like but it, you, it's compounded like i said isn't it yeah. it's, it's not just it isn't just 2x no it is like it is like it's yeah. more than 2x yeah definitely because it, it it everything's got two sets of eyes yeah. so better decisions are made plus i think when when there's two of you you sort of like motivate each other to sort of like scale and you know get more done yeah. and stuff like that like you don't just accept like for example like as soon as we hit six figures like the, the next the, the first thing we said was all right now we need six figures each you know what i mean yeah yeah now like, we need to take home 200k yeah. no, a year we, in revenue that's it like we don't just sort of like accept what it's at like we, we immediately set like higher goals uh-huh. and then I, I know for a fact as soon as we we have six figures each it's going to be okay now let's go for you know like double six figures each or you know yeah, eight, yeah. something like that mm-hmm. definitely but um yeah like i just that like literally just what we wanted to talk about and what we wanted to sort of like document for, for you guys as well so you know like what's going on you know where it's at with the agency and i feel like now we don't have to be secretive about like yeah i mean meetings of morning and I, stuff. I don't know if we were sec- i suppose i think ah what we were kind of thinking and what the way we were looking at it is like let's just not announce it let's just you know yeah just, let's just get on with the business and grow the business and let's you know, and let then the business speak for itself, basically. and then yeah. and then let it speak for itself. Yeah, I think before we end up the video, I reckon we should just for anybody wanting to do, maybe someone's on their own right now, and yeah. they don't have, they don't know anybody that, that that could potentially be their partner, but maybe they want to do it. Maybe some tips for people to either go out and find that person, how they can network with people to sort of yeah. to find that right person. Yeah, I and think maybe some tips for people. I mean, it comes what, down what to self awareness, and I think you need to know what your own strengths are, and then you need to find people that sort of complement those strengths or have different strengths. Yeah. So like if you're a very alpha salesy kind of guy, you need someone at the back end to sort of like pick up the, 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 you know what I mean? Like, so like you knock the door down and then you've got someone that can walk through the door and you know, get the clients or something like that. I know that's a waste and I, well, it's, it's like so it, alien it, on guys, but yeah, it is you know what guys. I mean? Like, it's like uh, Apple though, isn't it? You've got Steve Wozniak, who's the introvert who exactly, actually yeah, built the foundations the of example, Apple. Yeah. When then you've got Steve Jobs, who was the out- outrageous, the yeah. guy that a lot of people didn't like, but he got the sales. He, yeah, he was it, a yeah. fantastic public speaker. He was the extrovert, Steve yeah. Wozniak. And I don't think we've necessarily got an say, extrovert, well, introvert. Think, no. But, you know, that is an extreme kind of example of, yeah. you know, that that's two opposites this is based like brand and meat structure yeah yeah very much so so obviously i think yeah you, i agree with that you know you need someone you need to be self-aware what yeah. your strengths and it's, it's not a bad thing like you know it's not like for me i'm not a creative person like i'm really not i'm creative in some ways but not like design like i'm really not a very yeah, creative like, person you're like a pra- you're very practical yeah, yeah i'm not creative at all yeah and I, and you know and i think you're very logical thinking i might not be you know um so uh, it it's you just know. got so many benefits in it. But there's yeah. no there's no problem in, in admitting that you're not good at something. You know, you can't yeah. be perfect at everything. Don't let perfection paralysis kill you. Just understand what you're bad at, write them down. Yeah. And then you know, you Find can, someone that's all don't good. be desperate for it as well. Like if you could, obviously want, yeah, you want no, to be don't desperate. go out and try to I need to wait together now. Yeah. It just needs to sort of happen. Like for example with Quentin and Yovan. Yeah. That just happens. Like it just clicked and you know, it's been a, a dynamic duo ever since. And I feel like like that it's the same with us. Like yeah. it was just like it was like a few phone calls and then the decision and then the rest is history basically you know what I mean? yeah. it's like we never really look back i think you've got to put yourself in a pos- in a place where like-minded people need to be that's one of the most important things yeah you need to surround yourself with beer. But i don't think you you know oh my mate from school he was thinking about starting an online business maybe no, i should no, do no, him. No, yeah, i mean maybe that will work i'm not I saying think it so at your level if not higher like don't sort of like don't teach pigs how to fly. Like don't just for the sake of it try and get your mate on board. Yeah. You know, to just to do it. You know, for the sake of doing it together. Go. It's back on again. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it, is it in focus? Yeah. So where were we? Uh, yeah. So don't don't try and get someone on board just for the sake of it. Like don't, for example, don't try and get your girlfriend involved if she's not into it. You know, don't get a, a mate involved just for the sake of working together. You know what I mean? Like find someone who is at your level, at your level in terms of like knowledge and understand them. And that you know that, like, rather than it just being a piss about, like, you actually get stuff done. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong, we have a laugh and we have, you know, we, we have a good time doing it. Because at the end of the day, yes, we're building a business, yeah. but this is our life and we're passionate about it. So yeah. we have fun along the way. We're not too serious, but when we need to be serious and you know, it, we've yeah. got stuff to prepare for. Like, we, prepare we for. mess about while we're getting stuff done. Uh-huh. Like, like, we'll have Skype on and then... Um, like we'll be getting stuff done, but like while we're getting stuff done, you know, we're chatting about like the most random stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's a balance of both, and I think what you need to do is put yourself where those kind of people are, networking events, 
DM people. We met purely because you watch one of my YouTube videos and, and I, well, I, I think I found your Instagram. Quinn's and I just, yeah, just reached out. And, and I, then yeah. I DM'd you and then yeah. that's the first time we met, then we collabed and then, you know, so you were kind of top of mind. So when I thought, you know, let's, yeah. maybe I think, you know, you were the first person I thought of. So you can't always just, you know, you, you put yourself in a position to have that opportunity come up, don't you? So yeah, like preparation definitely. meets opportunity. Exactly. Yeah, so like, that, yeah. Oh, I love it. So you need the preparation first. You don't, when will that opportunity come up? I don't know, but you need to put yourself in that, you know, that, that position. So yeah. go to networking events, you know, meet DM people, go to masterminds. Like Facebook groups. Yeah, like Facebook groups. Just surround AM club. Surround the yourself club, with like-minded yeah. people. But anyway, guys, like that's just literally like what we wanted to talk about, and uh, you know, obviously, like just be like vlogging and documenting the rest of the day. But I uh, just wanted to bring you guys up to speed with all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're just going to get some personal branding content, maybe film some more videos, and then later on we've actually got a meeting with Bob Van Buell. Decent, and I think you know you'd probably be able to see a lot more videos from the two of us now. Yeah. You know, together, yeah. more, yeah, more to trips more, to more Amsterdam, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can come over to the UK, mate. Come to my neck of the woods. So yeah, you should be seeing some more content from us together, and uh, yeah, it's out there now. So. Right, guys, little hour of personal branding done. Got some content for Instagram and YouTube. Film the video. Now it's time to clean up, get breakfast, and then we're on the road because we're going to meet Bob Van Buell at Bob's house now. Going to get some lunch. Again, have to go to the offline room. Just love this room, how sick it is just to have a room that's completely offline. All you do here is meditate and read. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone does the same hand thing. Like, we've done this. We've we done this. We've done this. this morning. Morning. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm grateful for how I make today great affirmations, and then in the evening, that. you do it as well. Um, and I think there's a lot of. Oh, is there Saturday and Sunday in here as well? Yep. There isn't Saturday and Sunday in the other one, and that's what. Okay. I'm yeah. I don't think there is any, I think it's just Monday to Friday. I don't know if that's a productivity plan, though. Mm. Productivity, yeah. It's just no. days, isn't it? There we go. What's going on, guys? Just getting some work done, getting some little camera presentations for Bram Panier. But Riley is doing his... Working on the ads, mate. That's it, Lightroom. He's discovered the presets. I have. I'm being taught by the best of content creation. Hey. Uh, it is. Love it. With some Jake Cole getting some work done. Perfect little Sunday night. Appreciate your help. Cheers, up. Bye, bye. Oh, mate. What do you reckon? I think it's all right, but it's stressful. Ooh. Me. So if I drop, if I take them for Tuesday morning, yeah. I've got two options. I get get an earlier flight back tomorrow. I'll get it all sorted, and I'll be all right. Yeah. Or push it fine and just go Tuesday. But I have to be there for ten forty-five a.m. and everything has to be perfect. Yeah. And I'll get it Thursday, but I have to pick it up Thursday, but I'm in Bournemouth. So I'm going to have to drive on my own probs. But I do, I, mean, actually, I said Thursday, the thing is I actually need them for Friday. You need them for Friday? But I thought Thursday. Yeah. I'll do the, I'll do the latter. Go Tuesday. Get them for Thursday. Yeah. So just a bit of backstory. Oh. <laughs> this guy's booked a last minute flight to China. And it just slipped his mind that he actually needs a visa. So he, now he's, he, it's like literally... Almost eleven at night, and he call him up or, or the Chinese embassy on and everything Sunday, on a Sunday to try and get his visa I sorted. Just, you won't even believe this. I found a guy called Scott. Scott, who had his mobile number on his website. Yeah, I've called him half eleven on a Sunday night. <laughs> he's answered and told me I have to be there tomorrow before ten forty-five to make it happen. But he's still in Amsterdam. He, he says that you probably could do Tuesday. I'll go oh, for Tuesday. So much stress, mate. I don't know yeah. what to do. We'll keep you informed, no doubt, though. We got there, bro. Half love, love the boy. Living <laughs> <laughs> like a king. <laughs> We're eating sushi later or some shit? Bacon, fried egg, and maple syrup. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, what are you mean eating? Yeah, bro. Can I get some peace? Sushi shop. Alright guys, so after a day in Amsterdam, Bradley got a flight back to the UK again and now everything's sort of back to normal. Uh, before I wrap up this video, I just want to like 
quickly go over like why it's actually so good to surround yourself with like-minded people we've mentioned it in like the long talk of this video as well like when we were in the office we said you know like by being together we are so much more willing to take risks and to do what we we know we should actually be doing whereas if you're on your own you just sort of you know there's there's a bigger chance of you slacking off there's a bigger chance of you uh, just calling it a day you know early on when there's still stuff that needs to be done and um, like you know when i'm with bradley like, i feel accountable to him to actually get results and vice versa like he knows he can't let me down and i know that i you know i don't want to let him down either so you know even though we might not be 100 percent motivated or 100 percent um you know in terms of, like energy you know we might be tired or you know it might be a long day but still you know we get stuff done if there's a client that emails then we get stuff done you know we reply to that client if a client wants to see an ad set up then you know we get that done right away or we tell our team to get it done you know there's no more slacking off and i think that is one being that has been for me one like the biggest benefits of working together is uh, well first of all obviously you divide the workload you can take on more clients it's much more structured but the main thing for me is you've got someone that is accountable or that you're accountable for and you just got someone to to share the wins with but also to motivate you to get stuff done and you know i've said it so many times but you just need to surround yourself with like-minded people because if you surround yourself with like-minded people you'll just go so much further and together you can accomplish so much more so takeaway point of this video obviously other than the you know work together to achieve more is just to surround yourself with people that are like-minded and that will take you further because it is true what they say you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with the most so you need to surround yourself with winners guys and with that said i want to wrap up this video it's been a long one i know but thanks for watching if you made it this far then you know comment your username on instagram in the comments down below and i'll make sure to follow you back thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Gotta do what I gotta do.